This question says an electric field of intensity 4.5 kilonewtons per coulomb is applied along the x-axis. Calculate the electric flux through the rectangular plane 0.35 meters wide and 0.7 meters long if the following conditions are true. First condition is the plane is parallel to the yz uh, plane. Uh, uh, condition two is the plane is parallel to the xy plane. And condition three is that the normal makes an angle of 35 degrees with the x-axis. So remember, electric flux is simply calculating how many, basically how many field lines are going through a given surface. So if I have, let's say this is a, a plane, and I've got these field lines going through here, and they're going all the way through here, and all the way from the top to the bottom. Now, uh, so you can count these and say one, two, three, four, five, five field lines. Now if I take that same uh, surface and I rotate it this way, it's the same length, but now only one, two, three field lines are going to be able to travel through it. And so the angle at which you have your surface changes the electric flux or the amount of force or the amount of electric field going through a specific surface. So in our first situation, it says that we have, uh, we have this is our y, so this is my y, and this is my x-axis, and there's my z-axis. In part A, it says that the plane is parallel to the y-z uh, plane. So that means it's cutting through the x-plane uh, perfectly perpendicular to the x-plane and parallel to the y-z plane. So perfectly perpendicular means that the electric flux is equal to the surface area times the electric field. And the, it would be times the cosine of zero, which equals one. Now in part two it says it's parallel to the xy plane. So here's my xy plane. It may be, it may be back behind the xy plane. It, it doesn't matter where it's at. It's parallel to the xy plane. So Nothing on this uh, on this x-axis is going to travel straight through at a at a uh, basically at a normal angle. So this is going to be zero. Um, so and let's go back. So the area is 0.35 times 0.7. The area is equal to 0.245 meters squared. The electric field is equal to 4.5 kilonewtons per coulomb, so 4,500 newtons per coulomb. So for, for number one, the electric field, or the, the electric flux is going to be 1,102.5. Now finally on part C, it says it's making a 35 degree angle with the normal. Now this is important because it's the, the normal that's going to, so the, this would be the normal, and it's making a 35 degree angle away from that, 35 degrees right here. So to calculate that, the electric flux is going to equal E times A times cosine theta, and theta being 35 degrees. Now, incidentally, if we were to figure out what the angle was with, with the electric field, it would be 90 minus 35, or it would be 55 degrees. It's a 55 degree angle with respect to the actual electric field. Um, and you could actually calculate it that way too, where it's, it's E times A times sine of 55, or E times A times cosine of 35. Both of those will give you the same answer. And you should get roughly 903.1151 newtons times meters squared per coulomb.